need to wedge your clay. So you've collected all your little pieces you cut from your first time, and now you need to stick it all together again so that you can use the rest of the clay again. If it's starting to feel a little dry, you're gonna kind of spray all the way around it. If it still feels like it's pretty sticky, then you don't need to worry about doing that. But mine was feeling a little dry. So there's two different ways to wedge. One way is that you just throw it on the table as hard as you can. You see, I'm kind of moving it each time. I wouldn't try to make it go so that I end up with a pancake like this. Instead, I'm switching my angle each time. And I would do that 40 to 50 times. Also, you see I'm standing. When you stand, you're able to put more effort into it. You have more leverage with your muscles. So you're gonna stand when you're doing this. If it accidentally bounces off onto the floor, that's fine, pick it up, just keep wedging. But you do need to do it for 40 to 50 times. At the end of class, if you ever, it's the end of class and you don't have time to finish, you can go ahead and just take one of your tools, say I did it, or I need to do it another 20 times. Just go ahead and carve a 20 into it and then that way, when you come back the next day, remember how many times to wedge it. So another way to wedge it is doing the kind of CPR method. So you have your, your clay, it's in kind of a sphere-ish shape. And then if you've ever done CPR, you know that you put your hands on top of each other and you have your elbow straight, you're standing up again and you're pushing, then picking it up and pushing it, picking it up and pushing it. And you're doing that over and over again to make sure there's no little air bubbles inside your clay. Again, you would do that for 40 or 50 times. If one way, if you prefer one way over the other, go ahead and always do it that one way. If you want to mix it up and do maybe 20 of the CPR and then another 25 of throwing, that's 